A hurricane is coming. What do you need to check on your renter's insurance policy to make sure you're covered? I'll tell you next. Hi, this is Greg with Tenet Tag. We're in Florida and we have already had a hurricane scare. And when a storm is coming, you've got a lot on your mind and you don't want to have to worry about your renter's insurance policy and are you covered? So when you're watching this video, if you have any questions, comments, or ideas, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you like what you see, please subscribe to the channel. Now, on to the video. So when a storm is coming, you want to make sure your renter's insurance covers all of your needs. To help you do that, I'm going to give you five tips to help keep you out of trouble. Now, tip number one, I want to make sure you're familiar with two of the protections in your insurance policy. The first one is for your personal property protection. This basically covers your personal effects for theft, fire, catastrophe. So basically, if a tree limb falls on the roof of your unit, rain comes in, destroys some of your belongings, this is what is going to help replace those. The second protection that I want you to look at and understand is the additional living expense protection. It's generally in every renter's insurance policy, and it covers your expenses above your normal living expenses. So if your unit gets damaged, it floods, whatever it might be, and you cannot stay there, this coverage will help cover your hotel rooms, food, that type of thing. So it's important for you to understand how this works. Insurance companies just don't give you money to go out and use. Basically, they reimburse you for your expenses. So you're going to go out, stay in the hotel, buy food, restaurants, etc. Keep all of your receipts and submit those to the insurance company and they're going to reimburse you. So it's really important that you have all the receipts for these expenses if this is your situation. Now, tip number two, make sure wind coverage is included in your renter's insurance policy. Most policies include it, but occasionally insurance companies will leave it off based on where you live. If you're in a coastal area, high risk for storms, that kind of thing, they may leave it off and require you to buy an addendum or a writer to your policy for wind coverage. So you want to make sure you're not in that situation before a storm comes. If you have a policy that's really inexpensive, double check that because if wind coverage isn't on there, that may be one reason why the price is a little bit lower. Now, tip number three, you need to understand that your renter's insurance policy will not cover flooding. Now, if a tree limb falls on your roof, water gets into your unit and destroys some of your personal property, you're covered. But the water in the unit, if it is coming from a storm surge, an overflowing river, you're not covered. The only way to get covered is to have flood insurance. This is just like a homeowner. And the only way to buy flood insurance is through the government, through the National Flood Insurance Program. And I've included a link in the description section below. But it's going to be easier if you just talk to your insurance agent. Now the price of flood insurance is a little bit different because they look at a lot of different factors. Renter's insurance is just based on the contents that you're insuring and your deductible. Flood insurance, it looks at those too, but it also looks at where you live. Are you in a flood zone? How old is your building? What floor of your building do you live on? All kinds of stuff. So you really want to talk to somebody who knows what they're talking about and that's why you should talk to your insurance agent. Now, tip number four, which builds on tip number three, sit down and review your renter's insurance policy. Make sure you understand it. Preferably, sit down with an insurance agent or somebody you trust to ask questions. Do you have what you think you have? Do you need wind protection or is it included? Do you understand the additional living expense processed with your insurance company? Do you think you need flood insurance based on where you live? Get all these questions answered before the storm comes so you have all the information and you're ready to go. Now the final tip, tip number five, if you have to buy additional coverage, make sure you understand the cost and how it affects your overall budget. The cost of policies can change based on how high or low your deductible is and of course the overall value of the policy. You want to have good coverage, but you don't want to overdo it. And that's actually why it's a good idea to shop around when you're buying insurance. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please give us a like. If you want to share it with a friend, please share it. If you have any comments, questions, or ideas, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you want to stay in the tenant tag loop, you can subscribe right up here. Also, if you want some more information about renter's insurance, you can check out our video, What is Renter's Insurance, right over here for some more information. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.